This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Mr. No model DE70 disc padlock. Now this padlock has one really unique feature, and that is the ability to remove the key when it's in the unlocked position. And it can do this because it has a really, really interesting core in it. And to show you the core, I actually bought a second padlock that we could open up and take a look at. I've already taken a grinder and cut the lock in half. So you can see that we have a disc padlock with two Bibles in it, one in the locked position and one in the unlocked position. Now I'll gut this for you after I pick my first lock, but let's get the, uh, let's get the picking out of the way first. I'm gonna use top of the keyway tension with my Sparrows type pry bar device and okay one two three four five and we're open <clears throat> now got into that really really quickly and this leaves me a dilemma when it comes to ranking it because the first of the doctor or mr. no padlocks I had was this one and I've got to tell you, this one was actually a legitimately tricky pick. If I only was looking at this padlock, I would have put it, ranked it higher than the Abus Model 2870 because it was harder. It was a five pin lock full of spools. This one picked like a Master 40. So where do I put it? Well, I'm just going to assume that this one was a fluke, and I'm going to rank it above the Discus 2840. And after I show you what's inside of this lock, I think you'll agree with me. So let's get everything else out of the way. Ugh. And we will start taking a look at what's inside of this lock. Okay. While we've got this open, let me just show you how these locks work, if you're not familiar with it. The shackle is a s almost full circle, about, about three quarters of a circle. This little device right here is what keeps it from turning, from just grabbing with this, this with the pliers and pushing it aside. So when you turn the core, if you look down there, there's a small cam a small cam that will push that locking lug out of the way and then over here is an actuator that fits into this small groove in the shackle that will actually twist the lock and open it up so what we really want to look at is the core so let me see if I can get this out and we can take a closer look at it Come on, let's get this tailpiece off. And here we have it, a dual Bible core. Let's take this guy apart. Mm. Got a really difficult to get off little C-clip on the back of this thing. There we, nope, not quite. There we go, got it off. <clears throat> and let's get the key. And we've gotta be really careful how we, I think that'll work, how we'll gut it because we have two sets of pins to worry about. And this doesn't fit, it's a little bit too big. Let's try a couple of my other followers similar in size. Okay, that one fit. Unusual, must be a slightly odd size. And the first odd thing that we see about this is 
It's a six pin lock with only five pins that are keyed up, but it's the first one that's empty, not the last one as usual. And let me show you why that is. If we look at the construction of these padlocks, we know that the Bible goes straight down and this raised portion right here is raised to allow room for that Bible. However, the second Bible goes off in this direction and there isn't enough raised room. So the second Bible has to be set back a little bit from the first. So that first slot right here, they leave it unpinned just so you can fit that double Bible into the construction of the lock. Okay, let's dump these key pins out. Number one is standard, two is standard, three is standard, four is standard, and five is standard. Now let's take a look at the pins. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the main pins directly above the key pins and the pins from the secondary Bible above that. Okay, so we have a, a standard pin in the secondary Bible and a standard in the main Bible. Okay, a spool in the secondary and a spool in the primary. A standard in the secondary. Come on, get these springs out of the way. I don't know how I just did that, but there we go. Okay, and a spool in the primary, a spool in the secondary, and a spool in the primary, and standard in secondary, and spool in the primary and looks like all the springs are the same. So, I think you can see why I ranked this above the Abus 2870. The 2870 was a four, four pin lock with one standard and three spools. Here, if we take a close look, we can see it's a five pin lock. In the primary Bible, we have one standard and four spools. In the secondary Bible, we have three standards and two spools. So, a really interesting lock. Uh, I've never seen a double Bibled lock before, at least not one that wasn't custom made as a challenge lock, but uh, I guess there's a first time for everything. So, that's all I have on the Mr. No model DE70 disc lock. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.